Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested to hear what my likes and maybe not likes are this week, keep on watching. Alrighty, so let's get started into what products I am really liking. And I do have a product here that I feel like I'm not liking, but maybe I can make it work. I don't know. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. I'm going to first start off with a fragrance that I haven't used in a good while. Mostly I seem to use it when winter time, fall and winter time comes because I find it a more warmer scent that I like to wear when it's, you know, like more colder months. And this is from Burberry, Burberry Body. It came in this, you know, like, um, geez, I don't even know if you can see the, there it is. It looks like a crystal, actually. To me, I always laugh. I say it looks like that crystal. If you ever watched um, Superman, and <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about in the movie, but anyway, um, Burberry Body is one of my favorite scents to wear a lot around this time of the year, and I do like to treat myself every once in a while to a nice perfume. I get away with wearing it during the daytime, and I get away with it wearing at night. I find it versatile either way. Burberry Body. I love this bottle. It's so cool. I guess it looks like a crystal. Okay, so for hair care... Uh, in my hair journey because I've been buying some new hair products. I picked up the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls uh, Curl Defying Shampoo and Conditioner. They're like in a yellow uh, bottle. I got mine at Rite Aid. It was like a special two for 12 or something. This is actually, and you guys are probably like, what? This is actually... I think I want to say third day hair. Yeah, third day. Like I haven't, I haven't washed it in the last three days. Like I know mainly just freshen it up a little bit. So this is uh, third day hair. And this is what I used was this shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, the conditioner eliminates tangles and repeals humidity to define frizz free curls that shine. So it helps with, um, you know, tangly, 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 tangly hair, but I love the smell of this stuff. I remember it to me, it smells like lemon custard. No joke. Mm, it smells wonderful. So I was looking at the Dove products because they have um, some products for curly hair. And I think I might go ahead and purchase some of their products, uh, the shampoo and conditioner, and there's like a hair mask. I came across with this Quench Absolute for curly, coarsed hair. It nourishes and strengthens uh, for a tug-free detangling, helping to prevent breakage. So it's a leave-in detangler. And this is from Dove. Now, it's especially for curly hair from how I'm understanding it. Yeah, for curly or coarse hair. Now, my favorite product that I loved to use was actually from Dove. It was a product that you sprayed in your hair, and it always did help. My tangles, it was like my top favorite product to help with my tangles for in my hair. Like I'd put it in after I washed my hair and just loved it. Made my hair look healthy, shiny and everything. And all of a sudden it was like gone. Like one of them things where you fall in love with something and then it's gone. So that's kind of what made me go into the vitamin B12 from OGX. Uh, but I wanted to, like I said, look into some more uh, hair products and I thought I'm going to look over at Dove see what they have again. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe it will be in a different bottle. Now, I'm not sure if this is really the same. It smells different than the one I knew of. So I don't think this is exactly the same thing, but it works just as great. So I think I'm going to go ahead and steer more to this one here from Dove because the last couple of times that I've put it in my hair, it, it felt... It felt great in my hair. I mean, like my hair is still, like I said, for third day hair, it's really soft. And these are the products I used was that shampoo, some of this, and 
boy, wait till I tell you what the next product's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to be eating words right now. Eating words. But yeah, the Dove for um, the Quench Absolute, definitely. So I'm going to be eating some words here because I actually had this product. It was in one of my segments like this that I'm doing right now, only it was a not so much. I wasn't liking it. Okay, so in my hair journey, I thought, hmm, you know, because like I'm trying to use up the products because I spend the money on it. I do try to put it in with doing my hair. Well, that product is <laughs> the L'Oreal Curve It Curl Elastic Mousse. I didn't like this product. I actually shared it and wasn't liking it or the curl cream. Now the curl cream, I still need to play with. The only problem I had with the curl cream was it feels too silicone base. Not really feeling that too much, not liking that too much, but I haven't used it in a while. And what I'm going to tell you is like, you know, maybe this is why I didn't like this product. Just like everything else, when you're doing your makeup or anything, sometimes skincare or your primer, something like that might not work so well with the foundation that you're using. Like some foundation, like your skincare might not inter interact with a certain foundation. And the foundation might be a good foundation, but it could be your skincare and your primer. Not that you should change any of that, but that possibly sometimes can be the reason why it doesn't work so well. Also, skin texture. You know, obviously we all have different skin texture, oily, dry, combo, and all that kind of stuff. Well, for the hair, I started thinking, because I was using the OGX line that you know, I know I've been bringing up a lot, several different times, but in this journey, like I'm discovering more and more, I'm not so sure about the products that I was using from them because this I was using and trying to use when I was using a lot of the OGX products. So I'm wondering if this wasn't working with it all. All I know is when I used my Mark Anthony shampoo and conditioner and the detangler and this, these are the curls that that I got, you know, and it, and it looks good. It looks good to me. So I'm like, holy crap. Okay. So I'm to eat my words. I'm going to take it back. And I'm, I'm liking it with those products that I use there. So something to think about sometimes when we use products and we think they're not working out like foundations and things, you know, like in hair products. Okay. So the next products are uh, skincare products and they are a luxury uh, skincare brand. So keep that in mind. They were sent to me to kind of try out, give a review and everything. And I might go into a full depth review on here on YouTube. I'll definitely be doing a blog about them for sure. I'm going to just give them a mention real quick to you guys because I am really liking them. I really am liking them. And I'm not just saying that because you know, they are sent to me and they're free and I feel obligated that I have to say anything. I'm not doing it for that reason. I am doing it for the reason that I feel for my own self that I'm really liking them. If you, if you notice a lot of the products now are infused with gold, like primers, um, you know, Peter Thomas Roth, he has that gold mask. There's different gold, everything. There's so many things out there that has stuff that's infused with gold. So anyway, the company is called Gold Elements. Now you probably have seen a couple other maybe YouTubers that you do follow because um, I've seen a couple other ones that, you know, I do watch as well and I'm friends with and everything. So I have noticed other ones sharing their thoughts. I was sent the, this is the Age Treatment Moisturizing Cleansing Oil. Um, this one here is the Eye Treatment or Age Treatment Eye Serum. And then this one here, ah, wrong way, is the eye age treatment eye cream. So I do have an eye cream and a eye serum both. I'm not going to get too full in depth because like I said, I think I'll do a video and do a full on whatever review, kind of give you some input in what I've learned. But I know I have some beauties. I try to balance it out because I know I have some beauties that do really love luxury products and, you know, they do maybe want to hear more about these kind of products. And then I know I do have the ones that try to um, manage their money and save and all that kind of stuff. So I try to balance it out and give for everybody. 
if you guys are interested, I get nothing, nothing at all. This is for you guys and you guys alone. I have a discount code. It's Lori20. So you'll get 20% off on any products that you order on gold elements. I'll put a link down below. I'll put the code down below. I'm not trying to sell you the guys, you guys, the products. It's only if you're interested because like I said, they are luxury brands, but I do know I have some of my beauties out there and some people who do really love their skincare and do enjoy luxury brands and, and maybe might want to try them. We'll go on to makeup, but there's one brush I was going to bring to attention. I'd seen somebody not too long ago talk about the flat uh, foundation brushes and this one's a smaller one. I have, this is a smaller one I have. I know some people don't like to use the flat foundation brushes to put their foundation on. I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really like it neither. I've tried that and I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm just, I'm not a fan. But how I use mine, so if you have one, maybe you got one in a brush collection or something. How I use mine is I'll tip or dab into uh, whatever eye setting powder that I'm gonna put on and I will use it and press and pat in along here and uh, use my eye setting powder. That's how I use my little um, foundation brushes like this. A friend of mine and somebody who is subscribed to me, she was talking about the L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation, this one here, where it comes with a um, brush attached to it. And she was asking me, because sometimes she'll message me and ask me, like, did you try this product or anything? And I was like, yes, I have, as a matter of fact. The visible, it's the Visible Lift uh, Smooth Absolute Instant Age Reversing Foundation. And it actually has um, Hydra Collagen Complex. She reminded me of this foundation. I was like, oh my God, yes. I've always really enjoyed that foundation. The sad thing was, and I don't see it in any of the stores. I'm pretty sure they discontinued it. They do have the one in the pump, the visible lift in the pump. But from my understanding, now I haven't tried the one in the pump, but now I'm thinking of getting it to try because now I'm curious. Because from my understanding, it's different than this one. It had like a different, um, a whole different feel to it. And just uh, some people weren't liking it. They loved this one better than that one. This has been a really good foundation and I actually put it on today. And I was reminded of why I loved it so much. The only thing I never liked was the brush on the end. And it, I wasn't a fan. But what I do, because like, again, I'm not somebody that likes to brush all my makeup and stuff. Um, but what I do is I'll let it come out and I'll just take with my fingers or something or dab it on my hand and then dab along on my face. That new product that I have tried out. And oh my goodness, I really like it. I was impressed, very impressed. But then I thought, should I be surprised? No, because I like the foundation from this line and it's the Wet n Wild Coverall. And this is their, their concealer. I have the foundation, I have the face primer. I love that. And the foundation is really good. The Coverall concealer, I think I got mine in the very lightest one, Fair. Yeah, I got Fair. So this is a really, really light color. But oh my goodness, it is... You know, it just has like the doe fit applicator, but it is a really good concealer. I mean, like, look at that. That's just like one little swipe. Let me pat it in. I mean, you can feel the denseness of it and the thick, like not real, it's not real thick. No, I shouldn't say thick, but I mean, like, look at that. That is insane of a coverage that it does. Another eye product and I pulled this one out. This is from Sephora, which this one is in Claire, Claire Light, an eye, eye brightening pen. One of those ones where they have the brush on the end. And this one's like a pink, is it pink tone? Is this one a pink tone? Yeah, this one's a pink tone. Pink or peach? Maybe, no, maybe it's a peach tone. I think it's the peach one. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, but anyway, it's the Claire Light. 03. So if you find that, that's the shade I have there. And that helps to brighten a little bit more. Bring some brightness. See that? And it's really good. And it's the Sephora brand. So the next two products are palettes. 
the one palette I'll share first and sadly right now I'm not liking it I don't know if it will change later kind of like how the hair products but right now I can tell you that's why I'm just going to share it's a not so much I'm not liking it and it's sad for me I'm, I'm saddened to say that but I don't have the greatest experience with Urban Decay and I hate to say that and the ones I do have a good experience with, like I have the Gwyneth Stefani one, great. I have a great experience with that one. Um, the Nega palettes and those ones, but other kits that I've got from them, uh, a lot of their other palettes, like sometimes we have, you know, the glitter chunks or things like that. And this is the Moon Dust one, you know, the Urban Decay Moon Dust really pretty packaging and oh my goodness the colors the colors in there look so gorgeous i mean i they're gorgeous not that they're not gorgeous they're beautiful beautiful and i had nothing but glitter all over no matter how much i try getting off around here on my face just just ends up being a hot mess like I'll see glitter everywhere I don't know I need to play with it more some will say wet it you know and spritz and use uh, fix plus or something this shade here Spectre was one of the reasons why I really liked this palette and it's a beautiful look at that beautiful beautiful um shade element that's the uh, the element shade that was another reason why because it's like a, a beautiful coppery kind of a shift of peach there and you see all that I'm not sure if you can see that too well if you can then you'll see what I mean like this purple one I used not long ago and I used it with a look I did and it was cute it's beautiful but top row is probably my favorite row because look at that green I mean oh my god like for the holidays yeah I could totally see you know i mean it, it is a beautiful palette it's just not working out for me but you might be able to see the glitter that i'm talking about right now me it just falls everywhere and all i see i look like i have fairy dust all over on me so and then lastly is my uh Lorac cheek palette i had shared this not long ago i actually have this shade on right now um what's that one called underrated but there it is right there see how pigmented the Lorac blushes are they're just gorgeous I mean, there's the hot pink one seriously that one's a little kick up there Un unshamed or something whoa got a little powdery there but I mean yeah you have to be very careful with their their blushes but I've been using this one a lot anyway thanks so much guys for watching I really appreciate that so if you guys did like this video please give me a thumbs up that help me out so much I really appreciate that also if you are not subscribed to my channel you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week love to have you and as always bees please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care I will see you then love you bye Oh,